Hello, hello, Aries. What is going on? It is into the MC8. Well, today is Monday. I think y'all already know what time it is. So we're gonna go ahead and do um, a little, you know, little little reading to see what y'all need to know for, you know, the rest of the week coming up, what y'all need to know, what's to come, and all that good stuff. But first, some beautiful Florida water to protect our energy. And yes, I'm showing off my Doja merchandise because y'all, I went to go see Doja Cat and it was amazing. And I don't care what you're gonna say about that so if i don't like her you can't like me then that's what's gonna be respectfully you guys don't have to like my music taste i don't have to like yours but you know respect is respect so and put this stuff on and we're gonna get into this reading um i was already trying to do the read but i kept getting interrupted and i'm not doing it on my um my computer i'm doing this on my phone so when i pause the video or when someone's interrupting me i have to make a whole new one because it's just not gonna be fair to y'all and i don't want y'all hearing all that chitter chat in, in the background so in my other previous video that i did on my tiktok i did get the six of wands so that's what we're basically gonna base this written on and honestly the other cards that i pulled from the island town's bonus deck oh baby we about to get into that but anywho the six of wands talks about Aries. You guys are going to have a success, a recognition, and self-esteem. Look at this woman. She looked like she on top of her game. So, Aries, whatever you're doing, keep doing it because you present people or or your past folks or whoever you want to call. This could be an ex, a jealous friend, someone who's envious of you, an old co-worker, a parent, a brother, whoever. You and the six of wands, you're going to have some good news. Um, success, recognition, and self-esteem all that is coming in for you now here's where we're about to get into it you got the runner card now like i said i didn't just plop these out these actually came out when i was already pre-recording so i just left them there so you got the runner a runner in code of uh code of relationship fear of intimacy listening to the ego yeah you got someone aries who is running from this connection they listen to the ego and then for intimacy it fear of intimacy issues so if you ever wonder why this person ain't giving you no sex or not trying to you know cuddle and kiss they being sneaky they doing something but anyhow you got the grim reaper and we all know that what what is the grim reaper in the tarot card it's a death card and that's what the grim reaper is in this oracle deck the grim reaper the relationship is over no second chances grow and transform your life exactly areas and that's what you need to be doing why y'all gonna have to cut whoever this is that is not trying to uh help you be successful or is trying to be on your downfall and play with you that's who, whoever this person is and if you don't know you about to know now this is a tricky part the karmic relationship yeah that's who it is that that is on your downfall that's playing with y'all success of uh, uh feeling a uh, fleeting triggers turmoil resentments letting lessons letting go loving you yeah aries whoever this is this little karmic person is trying to test your patience and they're trying me too so i think i know who mine is but for a lot of y'all aries this is what um this is what we're gonna get into now and we're gonna go ahead and do this minging oracle that like i said these videos are only gonna be 15 minutes long they're not gonna be any longer any shorter i'm literally gonna get them at 15. so spirit what does aries need to let me see here please and thank you here spirit guides angels and ancestors please show aries sun moon venus and rising what they need to know based off of this reading please and thank you spirit please and thank you I hope everyone's having a beautiful Monday, though, honestly. What does Aries need to know? Spirit, what does Aries need to know? Look, third eye, clarity. Bam. Your third eye, trying to tell you something, Aries? Uh, listen, don't blame me. Don't blame me. Just messenger. I'm just saying, Aries, you can't, I can't make, listen. I ain't making nothing up in these readings. I think y'all should know what time it is, but uh, yeah. If you're any reader, they will probably be telling y'all the same thing right now. Just saying. Your third eye trying to tell you something, and you about to get some clarity about whoever this runner and this grim reaper or this karmic person is. You about to get a lot of clarity, and your third eye probably itching because mine's be itching a lot. I already got some clarity last week, so yours is probably coming up, Aerie. And it's still Scorpio season, so let's see. 
look it says celebration gifts in abundance what you are receiving so anyone who's trying to stop you they only actually helping you and they blessing you Aries and they don't even realize that shit like wh whatever you about to end and finish and when this karma relationship ends um like I said we are in Scorpio season and the Grim Reaper came up as also confirmation with the six of wands the third eye is coming out talks about clarification you're gonna be celebrated no matter what you still gonna be recognized people still gonna want to be around you Aries you're not gonna be you know in no suffering you might cry you might be disappointed but you really gonna be a lot happier after you get over this whatever this is for you aries so let's see let's see what's the look it says separation longing mm. i'm trying to tell y'all a lot of y'all about to end a connection with this karmic relationship or whoever this is this person gonna be longing for you and then y'all gonna be separated because you're not really supposed to be together you really ain't supposed to be with no karmic but just because they karmic don't mean they a bad person it just means learning the lesson and that's some shit i had to learn personally about karmic yeah i'm gonna pull one more card for aries and see what else they need to know about this reading but yeah we're gonna get into some tarot some oracle and then more tarot and then wrap it up with an angel message look air ace Ge gemini libra aquarius y'all dealing with air sign because i know i am and this reading is resonant for me and i ain't being biased i'm not just a plum pick in the cards look you deal with an air sign this is ace 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 energy at the bottom of the deck look uh rejection laws fragmented decisions y'all have to make a decision areas at the top of the deck it says look uh clinging comfort zone sort uh south node and then it says self-worth expectations a lot of y'all areas about to about to um stop dealing with somebody and they about to lose they sanity over you here you about to be driving this person crazy they're about to be like i know aries really ain't just leave me and uh, yeah yeah aries is about to be that person in your life they about to teach you a valuable lesson aries whatever lesson that is it's either self-love or new love or help you regain who you are aries you about to figure it out let's see what eric look four one seven of pentacles Someone probably is still trying to work on this connection with you, Aries. But like I said, you don't have to take this person back. You really don't. I'm not seeing a lot of y'all Arians do that. So, I mean, when the common relationship could pop up, that means you're really not supposed to be with this person. And they just in your life to teach you a lesson. And you're supposed to move, sorry. Y'all supposed to move away from this kind of individual. But I'm not sure how long this karmic relationship is going to be for some of y'all. Some of y'all probably going to be six months, six weeks, six days, six years. Because six is popping up. And we got the eight. So a lot of y'all could be a year and a half. It really all depends. It really all depends on how, look, the temperance. It really all depends on how long y'all stay in the connection for. And how long y'all want to be stuck in Aries. So whenever y'all ready, Spirit said, let's go. Let me see. Look. Uh, uh, six of one, sorry, six of pentacles in reverse, and we got another six cards. So, like I said, a lot of y'all gonna be six months, six weeks, six days, six hours, six seconds, six minutes, six years. Anything with the six, so another six has came up. So, a lot of y'all gonna be dealing. Um, a lot of y'all are probably gonna stop dealing with someone because you tired of being uh played around with, and this person is realizing that they can't fool you. Cause the six of wands, sorry, six of pentacles upright is someone who can is the middleman, and you're not trying to be no middleman, Aries, and you're like, mm mm. mm, -mm. Aries don't play like that. Aries, you about to really get your blessing on. <laughs> Shit, I think you deal with whatever this is. Ooh. Look, the King of Pentacles, baby. A lot of y'all going to have the King of Pentacles in your life. Uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, this person is going to be wealthy, but that don't mean they're going to treat you, right? It just means this person will wine and dine you. They're going to take you out, and they're going to be an actual fucking man. But a lot of y'all, Aries, y'all probably going to come to a King of, uh, run into a King of Pentacles someone who's worthy of something and they're gonna treat you like a somebody and then we have look the seven of wands of earth spirit said let down your guard you don't need to fight this person no more um if you're still fighting with them you're not about to be fighting with them they honestly about to be fighting themselves because this person is about to is about to get get caught into some things or you about to realize who this person is to you look five of wands like i just said Y'all probably fighting this person now, or you probably might be fighting this person off, but Spirit said you really don't need to be arguing with them. But a lot of y'all areas probably will, and I've been dealing with my air sign, so I know for a lot of y'all who dealing with the air sign right now, y'all arguing with them. Spirit said, let down your guard, Aries. Don't, don't give this person no attention. Don't allow them to make you stressed out. They want to fight you. They do want to fight you, Aries. A lot of wands coming out. What else? What's going on here for Aries Spirit? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Look, three of pentacles reverse. Like I said, top of the card. Look, ten of wands. Look, card. Ten of pentacles. Sorry, 
Ten of Swords reverse, the World card, the Moon. It ain't good. It ain't good, Aries. Look, <laughs> baby, baby. This, mm -mm, mm -mm. Let me let me go ahead and get this. Three of Pentacles reverse. Sorry, reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, and then we also got the only Aquarius. Do not get with this person. You are not meant to be sticking around with this person. Three of Pentacles upright is a collaboration, a get together, a meeting. This person, mm -mm. listen, Aries, it's gonna hurt you and and now. But when you cut this person off and you start realizing your worth, baby, <laughs> they going to be longing for you, Aries. Don't do it. Do not get this person. They still going to lie and hide things from you. Spirit said, then they going to want to start talking about, uh, you know, they want to start a new beginning with you. Mm -hmm. Spirit said, mm-mm. So the, so the cups reverse. Spirit said, nope, 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 nope. You don't need to hold on to them. And on top of that, they're going to keep you stuck. And then they're going to start talking to you. But you're never going to have that family with them. Spirit said, you got somebody else to deal with. Spirit said, you got somebody else to deal with. They will communicate with you. But I'm not really seeing them having nothing to stay with you, Aries. On top of that, Spirit said, if you do keep waiting for them, you're going to be waiting a long time because the Hermit card is out here. This is a patient person. And I did see the Timbers card. But on top of that, it don't look like this, pe this person really want what they say because two tens was in the reverse. You know, 10, 10. I mean, like, come on now. Like, this person really is going to waste your time, Aries. And I really don't like that for you. Let's get into the zone. Hey, Aries. Sorry. Um, your, <laughs> your video just kept getting interrupted. My bad, y'all. But, like, I'm still going to try to, like, make it into one. Anyhow, we only have a few more minutes of your video. So, this is really going to be trying not to make a part two. But if I have two, that's just life, honestly. But let's go ahead and get the last few minutes. We got about four minutes in, so that's going to be all, y'all. And then we done. We done. So after this deck, we're going to get Oracle. And then we're going to be done. So what does Aries need to know with this Divine Goddess Oracle deck? And the first one says creativity. So Spirit said, be creative with the Six of Wands. With the Six of Wands, you are really supposed to be creative. So Spirit said, be creative. If you need to go outside and dip and dabble in some things, areas I'm not telling y'all what to do, do it. If you feel like it's right, do it. Do what you know is right in your heart. You not being track controlled areas if you need to get a reading get one for clarification but always get clarification so you can know for your situation what you really need to be doing if you need a reading that's fine but spirit said have fun express yourself in new ways yeah if you gotta go to the club with your girls if you want to date people do it aries do your thing you got no one's prisoner and you don't and you're not bound to nobody don't no run you aries look decision yeah make a decision it says the need to gain clarity through decision making a lot of y'all really do need to make up your mind because you know playing with somebody ain't a good thing aries you know and someone really ain't gonna be around for so long but if you really think about it you need to go ahead and make a decision make a decision based off of not just a reading but based off of what is aligned in your life and see if this person really is is doing the things that i'm saying that they're doing because they really are a karmic partner look be open to change and be open to change, Aries. Yes, this person is hurting you. Yes, they are a karmic, but that don't mean, like I said, they're a bad person or that they had to ruin you. They just had to show you something about yourself or teach you some things that you not uh, uh, that you didn't see coming. They really actually trying to help you, and they don't even know that in the process. Be receptive to new experiences. Change leads to growth. I'm gonna pull one more of these, and then we're gonna get a closing mess, and that's gonna be it. Look, awakening, exactly, look. But at the bottom, it says leap of faith. It says a realization, shift, or discovery. Bam. And I'm going to read this, this bottom card, this leap of faith. Taking a risk, stepping into the beauty of the unknown. Yeah. Take a risk, Aries. You ain't got nothing to lose. It's this person that got something to lose. You're not the one losing out. They are. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not really supposed to be no karmic, but, you know, yes, they are karmic, but not all karmics, like I said, are meant to be in your life. For, for a, a long, long time. Some karmics, like I said, I keep seeing. Hi, Aries. My bad. This gonna be it right here. We wrapping it up. Because y'all video keep getting interrupted. I, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying. I really am trying hard. So, we gonna get a closing message. And that really is gonna be it. <laughs> so, let's see for Aries and a closing message for this entire reading. What they really need to know. Look, renewal. Spirit said, reflection, self-evaluation, and rebirth. Yeah, y'all need to renew your life, Aries. Listen, this person is, is your biggest hater. 
this this karmic this air sign gemini Leo aquarius or whoever this is because it just said air sign so a lot of you are going to be dealing with the gemini Leo aquarius and they are going to keep things from you but they are your biggest haters but it said take a leap of faith be open to change make a decision be created and go through your awakening and renew your life aries you are not trapped here you are not no damn prisoner so that is it and that is all and i'll see you next time goodbye aries